know, anytime you go on the road in conference, uh, it's going to be a tough game regardless of who it is. And uh, VMI played a really good game, had a good game plan. And we started out really well and got on them early, had a chance to really put it away and, and gave them some chances to, uh, you know, make some plays. They got back in it. But uh, we were grouped in the, at halftime, came out and felt like we played pretty well. We really controlled the ball on offense in the second half, scored, I think, on four of our five possessions. And, uh, you know, defense found a way to uh, get the ball back when we needed to. So solid win on the road. And uh, we're 1 0. That was our goal. Down 17-16, Danny hits the big play over the middle on third down and the touchdown. Just talk about, I guess, his composure. I thought, you know, I thought Danny did uh, really well because he had on that play specifically had some people in his face, uh, and he stood in there and made a nice throw. I, I thought he, I thought he handled us pretty well, uh, got us in some plays to help us, uh, you know, move the ball. Uh, there's a couple things that uh, he wishes after watching video. You know, we'd like to have back a couple overthrows, but uh, considering first time on the road for him in a in a, in a situation like this on with a good crowd, um, I thought he did well and he came out and we got us a win. That's the ultimate. And a big game for Larry. He hasn't really had a big season so far, but really came on strong today. Yeah, Larry's uh, been – each week we've tried to put him more in the offense because he's got some ability. And with Kevin and uh, doing his thing on one side, if we can get that other side going like we did with Larry, uh, it was good to see him make some plays and, and make some big plays when we needed them. And that will help his confidence going forward because we're going to need everybody playing at a high level as we continue to go forward. And then obviously you want to enjoy this one, but going to Colorado next week, what's that experience like for you guys? Uh, you know, I think it'll be great. A lot of these guys have played some big schools before, but our young people, Hatton, you know, freshmen, they're going to be excited. Uh, uh, we'll have to, uh, you know, play above our head and uh, even have a chance out there. But just to have the opportunity uh, to play that, our, our kids will be excited against a Pac-12 school. All right, 100-yard game for you, the big touchdown. What happened on that play? Uh... I don't know, just, just being an athlete like our coach taught us, you know what I'm saying, patience is a virtue for like a big game for me. He was just saying just be patient and your time will come. And like he said, it came true. So. You had the big third down conversion too. It seems like you guys have really just found ways to make the plays when you have to as an offense. Yeah, uh, it all comes with practice though because, you know, we, we, we practice all the time on – it's repetition on what we do. Like we repeat a lot of plays, so when the game time comes, it's just like second nature to us. So, like I say, I just want to thank our coaches and stuff because they prepare us for this. How about the confidence you guys have as an offense in Danny? Uh, we have honestly with Danny, you know what I'm saying. We really have a lot of confidence in him because, like, we know he really he really gave us more confidence after the App State game when he threw the game winner to Kevin Glears. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a snowball. When one thing get going, we all you know it's a snowball. Just, everything just keep going over and over again. I think over 240 yards passing for you. You guys were down. You made a couple big plays. Just talk about I guess coming out on top. Well, I mean, you know, first play of the game for us was an interception on defense, and uh, we got the ball back, and we made a huge play on offense, you know, scoring on the first throw. Um, and we really thought we had something going. And uh, then, you know, we kind of stalled out. And at halftime, we knew, you know, we, we're better than this. Um, we're a better team than this. We've been playing well the whole season, but we really haven't put a complete game together. Um, so we came out in the second half, and. You know, we struggled a little bit more, but finally our defense got stops. Um, we made some plays on offense, and you know, we came out with a W. Oh, Larry's Larry's awesome. I mean, in practice, he makes the best uh, catches, one hands. Uh, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, it didn't surprise me at all that um, he made that catch. I uh, I actually got hit on the play, so I didn't see it. And uh, I got up, and I see Larry running down the field just wide open. I was like, wow. You know, it must have been a great catch. And then he talked to me after. He's like, Dang, I, I didn't think you were going to get it to me. I was like, hey, way to make a heck of a grab. So it was good. How about, uh, how do you and I guess the guys feel about the excitement of going out to get to play Colorado next week? Uh, we haven't really thought about it much yet because um, our coach has been preaching, you know, one game at a time. Uh, but, you know, now that the game is over, we're definitely thinking about it. And it's going to be a, a great experience, you know, going up there to Boulder and playing them. Um, you know, it's going to be cold, I'm sure. And uh, the altitude change is going to be pretty wild. So. We're excited. Um, yeah, it's just the next game. Um, we just try to get better. Like every day, we just go out and try to get better and play for our brother. So uh, that's really the main focus we got.